commonly asked question from people entering the criminal justice system is what is a committal mention or how important is the committal mention? A committal mention is a hearing in the Magistrates Court and is one of the most important parts of the indictable process. Almost all criminal charges start in the Magistrates Court even those that can only be resolved in the county or supreme courts. For indictable matters, the first step is a filing hearing in the magistrate's court. In this case, the magistrate's court plays an administrative role to compile the evidence and commit charges to the higher courts. At the filing hearing, a date will be set for a committal mention, often between six weeks to three months from that hearing. During the period between the filing hearing and the committal mention, the lawyer will review the brief of evidence, advise the client of their options, and the client will give instructions about whether they will plead guilty or not guilty. At the committal mention, the court expects the client to be in the position to decide how the matter will proceed. This is why the committal mention is such an important step in the process and the point at which you pursue one of three options. The first course of action is a plea negotiation. This involves the lawyer negotiating with the prosecutors to make an offer to the prosecution to plead guilty to some or all of the charges or offer to plead guilty to less serious offences than those charged by police. Often this is achieved by analysing the evidence in the brief. In negotiating to resolve to a plea of guilty, there are further options for the client to consider. They could accept all of the allegations and plead guilty to all charges, or accept the allegations in part and negotiate with the Crown to have charges withdrawn or amend the facts presented to the court. If the charges are resolved before the committal mention, the matter will be booked in for a plea of guilty at court. If negotiations lead to charges being withdrawn and replaced with less serious charges that are not required to be heard in the county or supreme courts, the matter may be eligible for summary jurisdiction and sentencing will be done by a magistrate rather than a judge. However, only some matters can be tried summarily. More serious charges do need to move to the higher courts. If a client pleads guilty to more serious charges such as kidnapping, trafficking a commercial quantity of drugs, rape or murder, they must be heard by a judge of the county or supreme courts. The second course of action is pleading not guilty. It is important to know that pleading guilty to a charge that is unfounded or where a person disputes the allegations is never the right thing to do. This often happens in circumstances where the allegations are completely false, made up or do not disclose an actual offence. There is a case of mistaken identity and a person denies any involvement with the allegation or there is a valid legal defence for the offending such as self-defence. When a person pleads not guilty and decides to contest the charges in court, as is their right to do so, the onus is on the prosecution to prove the allegations with admissible evidence in court. Once this decision has been made, a Form 32 needs to be filed for the defence lawyer to either seek to cross-examine witnesses at a committal hearing in the magistrate's court or seek for the matter to proceed directly to the county court or Supreme Court for trial, proceeding to a straight hand-up brief. If the matter proceeds to a committal hearing, then the defence can cross-examine witnesses and uncover any issues to be adequately defined or identified. This hearing is held in the Magistrate's Court without a jury. The Magistrate will determine if the evidence is sufficient enough to commit any charges to trial in the County or Supreme Courts, or if the Magistrate finds that there is not enough evidence to commit the charge to trial, the client will be discharged and free to go. The third course of action means the client decides to skip the committal hearing or any cross-examination of witnesses with a straight hand up brief, which means the client will be committed to trial at the committal mention and on this date the magistrate will provide a date for the trial to begin with an initial directions hearing in the county or supreme court. Once the client is committed to trial at the committal mention, the magistrate will outline some cautions for the client depending on the circumstances of the matter. The defence will request disclosure of any materials on the Form 32 and the prosecution can raise objection about disclosure if they have any. It is obvious the committal mention is a very important part of a criminal proceeding. In any matter, it is imperative to engage an expert defence lawyer early so that they can properly prepare the matter and be ready to inform the court at the committal mention how to proceed based on these three courses of action, limit any issues that an experienced lawyer can foresee and negotiate other aspects that may reduce time and costs further into the process. Most importantly, engaging an expert criminal defence lawyer ensures the client the best possible outcome, whether they choose to plead guilty or contest the charges at trial. If you or a loved one have been charged with a criminal offence, contact Dugan George to discuss your options on 03 or visit doog.com.au.